What's up, Cherry Blossom family? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jessie, also known as Miss Cherry, and I'm so excited that you guys are here today because we have a vintage Disney haul and oh my gosh, I am so excited to share this with you. If you've been on my channel um, or seen my channel before, you may have picked up, I'm a huge vintage lover. Most of my house is in vintage items and it just, there's just something about the uniqueness of them and the one of a kind that I just obsess over. And vintage Disney is no different. So I have items from eBay, small shops, and also, from a local thrift store here in Anchorage, Alaska, where I live. And I am so excited to share this with you today. So let's get into this haul. I think I'm going to start with apparel because I don't have too much apparel, but I feel like all the items that I got are like so epic that if I showed the shirts at the end, no one would really care. So here we are. <laughs> Don't leave! <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so I, as you may have known, if you've been watching my channel, I am on a goofy kick. Like an intense goofy kick. Like one where I don't know what to do with myself because it's it consumes my every thought. So if you're experiencing a character like that, please let me know down below. I know someone messaged me the other day and they were saying that their character that they are obsessing over is Sven from Frozen. And I'm like, what a great character to obsess over because Sven is so underrated in my opinion. Anyway, guys, let's take a look at this shirt. This was from eBay. And actually all of the shirts I'm going to show you are from eBay. So I'm just going to stand up and show you what I've got. So first we are starting with this men's, well, it's like, it's not a men's, it's a unisex kind of boss, boxy, goofy t-shirt. So the Goofy emblem, like the actual lettering, is screen printed on, but Goofy is embroidered. And I swear to you, there is nothing like an embroidered vintage t-shirt. My best friend, Jessica from Oh My God Jessica, can attest to this. The one that really got me into more vintage -y shirts like this because I'm a bigger type of gal, and so it's kind of hard for me to find shirts that fit. But I do have some plans, hopefully in the near future, to do some modifications to some of these shirts. So if you would be interested in seeing some vintage haul, um, like upcycling type of videos, let me know down below because I would love to do that because I'm a big sewer and really into doing some modifications to these to make these a little bit cuter. Okay, this next shirt is another one from Mickey and Company. Again, I do believe that this is a Disney store top. It is a crew neck sweatshirt. It is unisex and it is in red. Again, Goofy is all embroidered and look at him, look at his butt. He is really killing it with the handstand. So proud of him. I don't think I'm going to do any modification to this. It's oversized and so comfortable. So I think this will probably be one that I will just like wear around the house. This one is so cool. Again, another unisex plain t-shirt, but look at the embroidery on the pocket. We have got Goofy and Donald ducking as Mickey is throwing a boomerang. It threw, they threw it so hard that it actually tossed their hats into the air, which I thought was super cute. And I love how angry Donald looks and how surprised Goofy looks and Mickey's like completely oblivious to anything that's happening. So fun! This one is actually long enough. It's so hard to get this all in frame. But this one is actually long enough to where I feel like I could do a really cute like tie to one side with some mom jeans and it would look like perfection. Now this one was really inexpensive on eBay because they did some modifications to it themselves and I don't think they liked what they did. So here it is. Is this so 90s? Like this is literally my childhood. They actually cut the collar. So I have plans for this. Um, again, with that video that I want to make, I am actually going to cut it at the bottom of Goofy's feet because guys, I haven't even shown you the best part yet. Oh, look at his booty. <laughs> Okay, also, I'm a big fan of the thumbs up symbol. It's kind of um, something that Jesse and I do in all of our photos, as well as my dad. It's like, we're the thumbs up people. So I'm so excited about this. So I'm going to be cropping this right here, which happens to be like right underneath Goofy's feet on the back. So his whole body will be showing. I'm going to do a hem that's going to be in a colorful 
thread, either red or green. I haven't decided, maybe both. Same with the collar because I want to try to preserve the collar as much as I can and maybe make it a little bit larger, maybe V-neck. Not 100% sure on that. We will make it beautiful and we will do some modifications to it, but definitely is my favorite t-shirt out of the entire haul. It is so amazing. And I do not think this is licensed Disney. I think this is something that's like from, say it says Florida. I think it's like from a cheap like souvenir shop, like near Disney World would be my guess. So cute, so in love with the it. The last piece of clothing that I am gonna show you is this super cool women's embroidered denim shirt. Now I plan on wearing this tied up about halfway to where it's like a little crop that has a tie in the front. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> Look at all of these characters. So we have Pluto, little hidden Mickeys, Mickey Mouse, Donald. Look at how happy Donald is with himself. Minnie Mouse. We have Goofy looking so cute. And each of the characters have two different poses, which I love about this. So there is <laughs> Pluto looking so proud. Pluto wagging his tail. I mean, this is such a cool shirt. It's basically like an all over print, but it's embroidered. Like how fun is that? Now I will say this was actually one of the most expensive items that I bought. This was $20, but it is in perfect condition. I swear to you, I do not think this has ever been worn and it smells so good. <laughs> I have not even washed it yet because it's, it, I think, Whoever sold this actually washed it before they sent it. So this obviously will definitely be getting in the wash, but how cool is this? Chef's kiss. Out of the shirts that I showed you, which one was your favorite? And would you do any modifications? Because you guys are so incredibly creative. Like every time I ask you like what you would do differently in the crafted series, which is like the DIY Disney challenge that we do on my channel with Katie from Over the Mooney, you guys come up with the most creative, amazing ideas. So if you have any suggestions, I am totally open to suggestions for doing modifications to those shirts because you guys are very, very smart when it comes to DIYs. Anyway, moving on, we are going into bags next. This next bag is from Queen QPX and they just recently changed their name and I believe they used to be all the pretty things and then they were Queen QPX. Now there's something different. I don't remember what it's called. I will definitely link it here and also link it down below. But they're a company out of the UK and they have amazing uh they have amazing vintage items that they sell. They also have, sometimes they have mystery boxes, which I've opened several here on my channel. Also, I will link all of the mystery vintage unboxings that I've done down below from this company because I really do enjoy their company. And I saw this and absolutely fell in love with it. So in Alaska, you do have to bring your own reusable bags. That kind of went away during COVID, but it's kind of come back a little bit. I don't know if it's that way in other parts of the country. It was really odd. So they made us change to reusable bags. Then when COVID happened, you weren't able to bring your bags, but now you are? Okay. I don't know. But this was so cute, and I thought this would be the perfect bag to take to the grocery store. And I probably wouldn't put food in it, but I definitely put, like, dried goods in it because it's massive. So here it is. It's definitely, like, Mickey and Minnie in high school or, like, in some sort of school vibe, right? So they are looking so adorable. I'm loving Minnie Mouse in yellow. I've been seeing Minnie Mouse in yellow in so many new things and also vintage things, which is super fun. Love seeing her in a different color other than red. And then Mickey's got like his little letterman jacket on and he's got like this really cool like untucked shirt and sneakers like, excuse me, the swag. And then up here in the corner, it says Mickey's rock around the mouse, which I don't know what that is. If you guys know, let me know. And then it says like, I heart Mickey and it's got love and it's got little hearts. I heart Minnie, little hangman. So cute. And so it does have these really cool drawstrings. So you can draw it closed, which I appreciate. And then it's got these really nice, like white handles. How cool is this bag? And then the inside, let me show you. The inside is just 
plain. It's just like a white interior. Okay, this next bag, I was heavily, heavily influenced to buy a Disney influencer that I'm sure you guys love just as much as I do, and that's Tiff Mink. <sighs> Tiff is awesome. Like, I loved her all the way back when she was doing Thingamavlogs so many years ago. Such a big fan. Were you guys fans of Thingamavlogs? That was my favorite. I always got so excited when Tiff posted. She had the purple like thumbnail, so I always knew when she posted. <laughs> anyway, that's a long story. But uh, she posted this on Instagram and she said the Rachelist Place on Earth, which is also another Disney influencer, had this bag and she was always jealous of it. And she posted like, hey, it's still on eBay. And I was like, um, excuse me? And look what it is. <laughs> yes, it is a goofy face of vintage tote bag. <sighs> Guys, I have a full goofy outfit that I cannot wait to show you down below. Mm, you guys are gonna love what's coming up pretty soon. But anyway, check out how good of condition this is in. So I got this off of eBay right when she posted it. I was one of the lucky ones that it didn't cost that much. We're posting this for like a crazy amount of money. Um, I think I got mine for like, I think it was $34. And yes, that is expensive for a tote bag. But this is in such good condition. Well, I am, can we ears on a back? This is the original Loungefly backpack, except it's a tote. What I love about it and how you can tell the quality and how it's not been used is because it has like this rubber lining and there's actually no breakage in this rubber lining all the way around. And that's how you can tell it's been really well taken care of. And his, he does have just a tiny bit of wear on his face, but I'm going to try to clean him up. I actually have not uh, washed him down. So I'm gonna do like a really gentle um, wipe down with Magic Eraser, which by the way, if you have Loungefly mini backpacks or Danielle Nicole backpacks or basically any nicer Disney bags that you have scuffs or scrapes on, a magic eraser with a tiny bit of water works miracles. Miracles. Um, and so anyway, I'm gonna do a little magic eraser for him. This is his opening. He's actually like, he's so big, guys. Thank you, Tiff. I will link Tiff's information, her YouTube channel, her Instagram. I'm sure you're already following her. She's a queen, we love her. Thank you, Tiff for showing me that incredible bag. And moving on to a couple of other items. So I think we should move on to plushes. So <laughs> this one is not that old, but it's definitely well loved and I'm totally here for that. So a few months ago on the channel, I was doing a live with you guys and we were chatting and you guys named the pirate's dog Keith. <laughs> I mean, I am a sucker for puns no matter what, but then I like, every time I see the dog, all I say is Keith, Keith, I'm obsessed. So now I'm like, I had to get a plush of Keith. Number one, he's so damn cute, okay? Is he like the cutest? Look at him, look at his little keys. I mean, yes, he is so scruffy, so perfect. Now, Keith's keys are a little bit worn, but you know, he works in a jail. You know, you can't you can't give the man a golden keychain. You know, this is definitely like a gold plated, so it definitely had some wear, but they can't have real gold in a jail. So <laughs> you can't blame them for that. But look how precious he is. I just love this plush. His little paw says Pirates of the Caribbean. And then here is his little tag. It does say Disneyland and Walt Disney World. So if you had this plush or you know information about like when this plush came out, my guess is probably like early 2000s, late 90s would be my guess. But we're adding Keith to my humongous plush collection and I am so here for him. Next, I bought this on eBay and I swear to you, these people that were selling this had no clue how much this was worth. <laughs> I got this for $12 and this is an old, old, old figment plush that is in absolute perfect condition, perfect pristine condition. And he has his original 
tag. So let me do a close up and show you what he looks like. I have been on the hunt for this plush for a long time and I have never seen one of this quality. So look how perfect his eyes are. Usually with plushes this old, um, he would have like some wear on his eyes. He does have a little bit of discoloration around his eyes, but again, I have not tried to give him a bath yet. So I was gonna do some spot cleaning to try to get him all fixed up. He's wearing his figment <laughs> sweater. There's his original tag. It says Disney original. And then on the back, look, he was $11. So I got him for $1 more than what he originally sold for. And then there's his little felt belly. And I'm gonna flip him around because look at the details on his little horns on the back of his tail. And then he has ridges all the way up his back. There's his little wings. And there's his horns of a steer. Is he perfect? We love Figment. I'm so excited to have him. This plush I have been searching for for years, so I'm so happy that I waited until the right plush came along for the right price. It was such a good deal. So this next plush on eBay, I have been, you know how you can watch listings? I have been watching this listing since probably October, I wanna say, of last year. And I've just been really, I just love this plush. And I was like, gosh, he's just so, he he's like a little beanie baby, right? Like he's so cute and so little. And he was priced at $12 and he didn't look in the best condition. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna wait and like see if they bring him down in price or whatever. And I went and I looked at my watched items just recently and I'm like, well, I'm just gonna look at this Goofy again because it was still available months later. And I look at this plush and I was like, no, I'm just gonna pass because it was $12 and then I live in Alaska, so it's $12 shipping. I'm like, I'm not gonna pay that much. I'm not gonna pay $24, it's silly. Like I'm gonna get a beanie baby that's gonna be like this big and it'd be like, great. I get an email. The email comes in the next morning and it's like, hey, we will reduce this Goofy down to $8 if you take the offer, right? Because you can offer people a lower price to entice them to buy. Well, I fell for it. <laughs> so here we are. And I get this box. This Goofy is huge. This Goofy is insanely large. <laughs> I was like, um, are... Okay, honestly, if I would have known he was this big, which by the way, if you're an eBay seller, please put dimensions. Um, I would have definitely paid a little bit more for him. <laughs> I actually don't know why he did not sell. He's so, like, he's just so flippin' cute. He's not in the best condition. Like, there's some dog hair on him. Um, and so he needs cleaning. I just got him today, so bear with me he will get cleaned, but I needed to show you guys him because it was so interesting and then I'm gonna go wash my hands. <laughs> First of all, can we talk about like how old school he looks, right? So he doesn't even have the white in his eyes, so he's definitely an older plush. He also has like the really cool like rounded nose. Usually his nose is more like skinny and more protruded. He's got really cute teeth. His little body says, sport goofy <laughs> he's got his little 70s shorts on now i mean really the plush is in good condition outside of there's some dog hair on it and then he's got these shoes that are velvet shoes which is really interesting with little racing stripes and he's got his little mitten hands just like normal and then his little sport goofy tag and this says he was 13 dollars originally so there is his original tag how cute is he he does have this ribbon i don't know what the ribbon is for that might have just been left over from him just being like a toy um that maybe a child played with i'm not 100 percent sure or maybe a collector like me and they're like all of my plushes must wear yellow ribbons it could happen but we love him because of look at his <laughs> Look at this goose egg. I, I, I guess that I didn't realize that when Goofy doesn't wear a hat, he's got this major goose egg. We are so here for it. This is where his hat goes, okay? <laughs> anyway, super cool purchase. 
it was just so interesting and so different than like what I'm used to purchasing regarding vintage plushes but oh my gosh I love a unique plush this is so fun and I'm so excited to add him to my goofy plush collection which is growing by the minute I totally washed my hands <laughs> I was like, just in case. Um, I'm gonna be washing him this weekend. Not washing him. I'm going to be spot cleaning him and also taking all of the hair off of him. It's kind of gross. My friend, my best friend Jackie, who is just recently moved to Massachusetts, came back to visit recently, and we went out to a thrift store about 40 miles away from Anchorage, and I found a gym, but I don't know anything about it, so I'm hoping you guys might know a little bit about this. So this is a figurine that has no markings on it whatsoever. So let me show you this figurine. If you guys know anything about this, if you would please let me know, it's so unique. So it is a book that is open and it has like, it looks like all these stories are coming out of it, right? It's like this clear glittery little wisps that are coming out of this book and holding on to Disney characters. So we have Little Mushroom, I believe from Fantasia, Dumbo, Pinocchio, Mickey Mouse front and center. Look how beautiful Mickey is. I love that he's got his little hands out. I think that's so cute. And then we have Tinkerbell and also Cheshire Cat. And it is like a gold leaf on the edge of the pages. Isn't that so cool? I'm not even sure if this is Disney licensed. And then the bottom has no information. <laughs> and I just thought that this was so interesting. I have a Mickey Mouse shelf and I just felt like this belonged on this shelf. It was just such a weird item, an item that I've never seen before. I have searched the internet far and wide, can't find any information on it. So if you guys know, I would love to know where this came from or what it is, because it's really cool and really unique. On to Christmas ornaments. So when I was a little girl, my grandpa Harold and my grandma Lucy had these really special Disney ornaments on their Christmas tree. And when my grandpa passed away, um, we weren't able to really get anything from his estate um, outside of one bolo tie, which I was so thankful to have because it reminded me so much of him. But one of the things that I really, really, really wanted were these Christmas ornaments that he had. They were nothing special. They were just Disney themed. And I remember them so vividly from when I was a little girl because they had like a, a good sized house, but they always had a really small Christmas tree, like one that was like tabletop. And then they only had like five ornaments on it. <laughs> <laughs> but as like a busy adult now, I'm like, oh, I totally get that. As a kid, I'm like, that's kind of weird. <laughs> but now I'm like, who needs a Christmas tree right now, okay? But I remember these ornaments so vividly. And when, uh, this is so crazy. So when I was looking for that denim shirt that I showed you earlier that was the all over print, I, I was looking for shirts when I was searching. Every time I do that, I always go into the store of the of the person that I'm buying from just to see if I want to add anything onto my order because I'm generally paying a decent amount for shipping to Alaska. And they had the ornaments. <sighs> like, oh, I'm getting emotional. <laughs> um, oh, I didn't think I was going to get emotional about this. Oh, I didn't think I was going to get emotional. <laughs> anyway, they had the ornaments like the ornaments that were on my grandparents' tree. And um, it was just really cool. And it was one of those moments, you know, where you just feel like it was just meant to be. This was one of those moments. And I got the entire set for $25. And I know it's expensive, but at that point I would have paid anything. I have searched on and off for basically my entire adult life to find these ornaments. And I don't know if I like wasn't looking for the right thing, but, or maybe it just wasn't the right time. <laughs> But they found me and I could not resist them. So I'm going to show them to you now. And they are so Yes, cute. they are in original packaging, which is so wild. So these are the from the Walt Disney Company. And these were, I believe, from Kmart. And um, I think that's where they got them from. But here they are. They are so old. And so they have Pluto in a Santa hat. Isn't he so cute? And these are like felted, right? So they're really fuzzy and nice. And then, oh, I love this one. We have Mickey Mouse as Santa Claus. 
and he's holding a candy cane and he's waving to all of the all of the boys and goyles now his foot has fallen off but it does look like there's a way to reattach it so i'll make sure to reattach it and this look guys 277 from kmart <laughs> That is so worth it. We could never get a Disney ornament for that much. <laughs> oh, I love this. Next, we have a Minnie Mouse, and she is in blue. I love her little blue bow. And she's getting ready to hang a little star Christmas ornament. She's got little blue shoes. So precious. And then we have the man himself, Santa Goofy. I am not sure what he's going to do. Maybe he's going to punch someone. Like, what is he doing? I have no idea what he's doing. Maybe when I take him out, when it gets closer to Christmas, we will actually get a better look at what he's doing. I'm not 100% sure. I thought he might be throwing a snowball, but he's just got his fist balled up anyway. So here he is. <laughs> And then my favorite is Mr. Donald Duck. This is the one I remember most vividly from my childhood because he has a little bell and the bell actually works. But isn't he so precious? And he does have that older animation style look to him, right? Where he's got a little bit of softer features. And isn't his little duck feet so cute? I just, oh my gosh, these are so special. And next, we are going to move on to headwear. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Are you guys ready? <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, can we talk about this vintage goofy hat? <gasps> when I was a little girl, I had one of these hats. When I went to Disneyland, that was a Minnie Mouse that had like the big eyelashes. I know some of us have talked about this. And I think about that hat so often. And I hope someday I'm going to find it in my parents' basement. <gasps> But for now, we're going with Goofy. So what is so cool about these hats? Let me take it off and do some close-ups for you. Actual plastic. And this is like a rubber and it's like a squeezable nose, which I thought was really fun. He does have a little bit of damage you might see here. It's like a little bit indented, but no big deal. For the most part, he's still in really good condition. This is another one that I need to wash really well. I have disinfected the inside so I could put it on, but... I haven't taken the time to do like a magic eraser on the exterior of him to make him really beautiful. But this is what I love so much about these. These are like a trucker caps. Like they fit like a trucker, trucker cap, which is so comfortable. And they have lots of adjustments. And this is the <laughs> Disney character fashion tag that they used to have. One size fits all. And guys... July 1995. <laughs> well, I love this. The year the Goofy movie came out. If you guys would like to see this in the wild, please be sure to go follow me on Instagram because I definitely, definitely will be wearing this into the parks. You'll have to let me know down below if, if you had had one of these because, oh my gosh, I think these are just too cool. These hats are just so classic. Oh my gosh, that was such a long haul. If you made it to the end of this video, you are the real MVP. I am so thankful for you. Thank you so much for for following along for this entire video. If you did, leave a little blue heart down below so I know. And also, I would love to know what you are thrifting for or what you have your eye on that is a vintage Disney item. That's gonna do it for me, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, be sure to subscribe down below. Mystery Box May is starting in just a few weeks and I have some really fun mystery boxes for you guys. And that is gonna do it for me. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you guys in the next video. TTFN, bye!